Emotional moment today after a jury found Chesapeake Councilwoman Amanda Newins not guilty of financially exploiting an incapacitated adult. This comes after a three-day trial where prosecutors argue that Newins knew her late great-uncle Bobby Davis suffered from dementia and couldn't make the decision to gift her his home. News 3's Erica Craven was in the courtroom and has the story. It took a jury a little over an hour to determine that Amanda Newins was not guilty of financially exploiting her great uncle Bobby Davis when he gifted her his home. This outcome, Newins says, is justice. It's when my uncle was like my father, like everyone heard. He raised me, um, he shaped me into the woman I am today. So the allegations were extremely hurtful. And finally, hearing the not guilty verdict uh, was a rush of emotions. During the trial, both sides agreed to a timeline. Nguyen's great aunt and uncle Shirley and Bobby Davis moved in with Nguyen's in 2020. Soon after, Bobby Davis began seeing a doctor for dementia. Then the couple signed paperwork to gift Nguyen's their Virginia Beach home. Roughly a month later, Bobby Davis was diagnosed with Alzheimer's and later passed away. During closing arguments, defense attorney Kristen Paulding asked the jury to consider the mental state of Bobby Davis the moment the deed to the Virginia Beach home was signed and pointed out the transaction required agreement from Shirley Davis, too. Paulding agrees with the jury's decision. We're thrilled. I mean, we've been waiting now for seven months, and that's the exact verdict that we wanted and uh, the exact verdict I hope to get. Commonwealth's attorney William Braxton's closing arguments painted a different picture as he asked the jury to consider Amanda Nguyen's credibility, saying as a lawyer she knew what she was doing and due to his dementia, Bobby Davis couldn't have made the decision to sign away his home. My interpretation of the evidence, but obviously the jury felt differently. They're the finders of fact, so I'm going to rely on their judgment of it. And again, she's presumed to be innocent and it sure remains that way. Nguyen still owns the home and rents it out. Great Aunt Shirley Davis also sued Nguyen's over the matter for more than $850,000. That case is still pending. Court documents showing it's scheduled to be before a jury in December. At this point in time, it's not clear what the not guilty verdict means for a separate civil case on the matter. In Norfolk, Eric Craven, News 3.